Now, if they wanted to do backup, that's when you add in the hub, uh -huh, right? Okay. So then you could do partial home or whole home backup. So we've got all three configurations using the single platform right here. So you can AC couple the battery to existing solar. It doesn't have to be Q-Cells modules. That is correct. This comes with a 15-year warranty, 25 years on the modules and the MLPE. What makes Q-Cells a good partner for a solar installer? Very simple to install. It's floor mounted or wall mounted, indoor or outdoor. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming to you from RE Plus, which is the big international solar conference here in Las Vegas. This morning I'm joined by Cam Cihota from QCells. We're looking at the brand new QCells Generation 3 solar and storage system. So Cam, it's good to see you again. Good to see you, Joe. Hey, thanks for taking time to chat with us this morning. Good to be here. So as you know, everything's going to battery storage now. Solar with battery storage now. I know QCells has just released their Generation 3 QHome Core G3 system. So please, for those that aren't familiar with it, can you kind of walk us through the, the basics of the architecture? What are we looking at here with the three, the three items? Absolutely, Joe, and uh, great to be here with you guys. And again, welcome to taking a look at QCells Gen 3 residential storage platform. We call it the QHome Core or the QHome Smart. And it's basically essentially combination of three main components. First of all, what we have is our AC combiner here, which is collecting the PV inputs from our AC modules. And our AC modules, as you know, have uh, microinverters pre-installed, pre-wired, pre-tested. So you can collect up to 44 of those AC modules into a single combiner, which has uh, four circuits, each up to 11 modules. So that allows you to build roughly a 15 and a half kilowatt AC system, 18.9 okay. kilowatt DC on a roof. That combiner then provides an input into the hub, and this hub is where everything comes together. It collects basically inputs from up to two of these battery modules, the AC combiner, and connects to the grid, and also allows a generator input. And so this hub is essentially where we have the backup switch, the okay. uh, auto transformer, and uh, the communication, right? So between all the devices. And looking at our battery system here, this is essentially an AC battery. Uh, it's got an inverter up on top, 7.6 kilowatts, with a 13.1 kilowatt hour battery storage. Uh, two of these systems can be tied into the hub, so you can build a system roughly 15 and a half kilowatt AC 27 kilowatt hour storage. So, so basically, so with the Q Home Hub, if I'm hearing this correctly, this is where you're going to integrate all your different power sources. So your, your solar plugs in here, your yeah. batteries plug in here, yeah. and this this will do the parallel connection for two stacks. That's right. And then you have a generator input as well. That is correct. Okay. So yeah. think of this as, or at least the way I'm thinking of this is sort of your, your whole house intelligent transfer switch, it'll take in solar battery, maybe generator, correct. and then it'll send that power into the house or back to the grid, depending that on is how correct. it's configured. That is correct. And a couple of the additional configurations, again, this is a complete system. You've got different use case. So for example, if you wanted to do solar only, you could take the AC modules with a combiner and tie this directly, essentially into the grid. Right? Okay. And you would have solar only. That solar could be paired with a third party battery, for example, if that is something somebody wanted to do, right? Or you could tie in solar with a battery and then just do grid support, arbitrage, no backup. So now you could have that use case where somebody just wants to add a battery and uh, charge from uh, solar, export to the grid for you know grid support, VPP type programs. Now, if they wanted to do backup, that's when you add in the hub, uh -huh, right? Okay. So then you could do partial home or whole home backup. So we've got all three configurations using the single platform right here. In addition, if you have solar already, for example, a rooftop with uh, microinverters or optimizers, so you've got an existing system, let's say from uh, another manufacturer, you could then install just the battery or the battery in a hub to do the backup, retrofit. Okay, so you can AC couple the battery to existing solar. It doesn't have to be Q-Cells modules. That is correct. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I know one of the things that Q-Cells is really touts very often, of course, is having everything under one roof from one provider, from the solar module 
through all the major system components and even in many cases, the financing for the system as well. So can you tell us for, for, for solar installers that are watching out there, especially you know, in places like California, where, where pretty much everything is going now to solar with batteries. It used to just be solar, you could just tie into the grid, but now pretty much everything is going to solar with batteries. Many installers out there are wondering, with all these different batteries that they see on the market now, what, what, we, what do you want to tell them about the Q-Cells platform? What makes Q-Cells a good partner for a solar installer? Great question, Joe. You know, you already know us as the major supplier of PV modules, right? One out of every three rooftops has a Q-Cells module, right? So the key value proposition here is that we have a platform system with a lot of flexibility built in, you know, for the different use case that we just talked about, backup or grid support, or solar only, and then also having the ability to pair it with existing technology on the roof so that you could have just the battery. But the key value proposition here is you got one complete system from one partner with one warranty. This comes with a 15 year warranty, 25 years on the modules and the MLPE. And so you've got one partner to deal with uh, and, and that partner has big focus on customer support, customer satisfaction, right? So one warranty, one partner, we've fully tested and vetted the entire system for you. Great. Now I'm sure a lot of folks are going to wonder either how, how much does it cost? Yep, that's, that's a great question and that is something I'm sure that our sales team can support. As, as you reach out to your channel partners, um, we can provide pricing. The pricing is very competitive. When you take a look at the 15 year warranty, and also the flexibility is very competitive as to some of the other solutions out there in the market. And are, is this going to be sold through the same distribution partners that the modules are, are sold? Yes. Okay. That is correct. And uh, do you want to mention them or, for example? Well, I, don't, I don't know if you have any preferred distributors or, but, but you I know, know we work, I know a number of the larger wholesale distributors, yeah. of course, they, they sell the Q-Cells modules. Right. In, like, for example, Green Tech. Like Green Tech uh, is the one, a partner, uh, Baywa. We have, Baywa, we have a couple of this, yeah. Okay, great. All right, now, now I know a big, a big topic for this year, of course, is domestic content and domestic manufacturing. Uh, we know that QCells has invested significantly in, in US-based solar panel manufacturing. What can you tell us about the domestic content aspect of the battery storage and the, um, and the hub? Yeah, so, so right now, um, specifically for the battery, we are working on a domestic content solution for first quarter of next year. And uh, essentially that is in the works and uh, we will have that in the first half of 2026. Um, you know, I want to add that this product has been verified and vetted by third party independent testing. Uh, for example, with DNV, we have an independent engineering report. This particular product is also getting onto AVLs. And so uh, the DCA content is essentially a big driver, a big focus for us first half of next year. I know, I know the product is brand new, but have you gotten any, any feedback from installers in the field yet? Yes, we have. Actually, it, it's, we've deployed these systems in the field over the last six months as part of our beta testing and uh, you know, voice of customer feedback. We learned a few things from installers that helped us to improve the user um, interface from a software standpoint, from uh, the mobile app that we use to communicate to the system and then also from an installation perspective. But the feedback was very positive. They've had uh, very simple to install. It's floor mounted or wall mounted, indoor or outdoor. So it, it's a very easy to use. It's a modular system, so you install the cabinet on the wall and then insert the battery modules. There are four battery modules that go inside this. Okay, excellent. So then you don't, you don't need to use a forklift or any no, special no, lift equipment. That is correct. That is a major benefit of this system, it's, it's very lightweight and uh, one person can actually do the install. Great, great. Well, Cam, is there anything else that the audience should know about the, the Gen 3 battery and, and when, when, when is it going to be available? It's available now, it's in distribution now, it, where it's being installed as we speak uh, across the country. And uh, so Green Tech has them in stock and uh, please reach out to them. Great, great. Yep. Well, folks, this has been a chat with Cam Cihota from QCells. We're looking at the new QCells Q Home Core Generation 3 battery. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. 
Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new product announcements like this, it'll come up on your recommended feed and you can stay up to date with everything. But that does it for today's video. Cam, thanks for spending thank some you, more Joe. time with our audience. Thank you so much. And thank you all for spending some more time on the channel. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.